Good afternoon. For today's update, first and foremost, I am very glad to see Governor Brown announce a statewide stay-at-home order. I am incredibly proud of the region's mayors, the Nurses Association, the county chairs, coastal communities, and everybody who joined in our chorus over the weekend urging the governor to take this action. Federal health officials continue to implore us that our medical capacity in areas of the country will be overwhelmed in the near future, so our actions now become even more necessary and urgent. Please, please study the details of the order and comply with it. You can find a link to the specifics on our webpage at greshamoregon.gov slash COVID-19. But I can sum it up for you really clearly in just a few words. Stay at home as much as possible and avoid unnecessary physical contact with people outside of your homes. This order exempts a number of critical businesses and the health and safety of the employees of those businesses depend on your compliance with this order. Remember, we are all in this together. As it relates to Gresham specifically, we've heard some accounts of people playing on basketball courts, sports fields, playground equipment at local schools and in our parks. To be clear, under Governor Brown's orders, these activities are not approved in the current stay-at-home order. So please, discontinue these activities immediately. Outdoor exercise is, of course, still permitted, so long as you can keep a safe distance from other people. I also want to update you on our efforts to support our local economy. As you likely know, we announced our first round of small business support last week and we're already working on our next round of support, which will be for local small businesses that are not in the food industry, but are also heavily impacted by the current order. I also reached out to our United States senators over the weekend to implore them to include direct assistance for local governments in their relief package, in addition to support for our small businesses. You can probably imagine the financial pressure on our critical local services right now. Big thanks to Senator Merkley, who called me Sunday from Washington, D.C., and shared his support for our concerns. More details uh, will come on the next round of small business support soon, uh, but in the meantime, in addition to the grant programs, we have reassigned available professional staff at City Hall to assist our local small businesses by providing technical assistance on state and federal relief processes and programs. Unfortunately, these programs are often complicated and the forms can be confounding and difficult. We are here to help, and we have knowledgeable staff members available to help you complete paperwork, uh, provide advice on available programs, and navigate the bureaucracy. To learn more about how to access this service, please visit the city's webpage at greshamoregon.gov COVID-19. The last thing I want to mention before signing off today is a new program that we're launching to check in on our most vulnerable residents and help out however we can. Operation Gresham Connect takes city staff members whose normal work has been disrupted and it reassigns them to call longtime Gresham utility account holders and other vulnerable residents. They'll be ensuring that people are safe, that they have the information that they need, and will attempt to help any acute needs that they may have. If our elderly or immune compromised residents need help finding the right referral to services or need a courier to help with a critical pickup and delivery, we will try our best to help meet that need. If your community-based organization, uh, your church or your neighborhood group has a directory of vulnerable citizens that we should attempt to contact, please let us know. Information about this program is also available on our webpage, greshamoregon.gov COVID-19. If you have a direct request for this program, you can email them at greshamconnected at greshamoregon.gov or call 503-618-2111. To this end, we've pulled city staff away from less critical functions like code enforcement, and we've asked them to assist with the effort I just described. In addition to meeting an urgent critical need with food distribution to our impoverished and senior citizen neighbors, starting this week, city staff will be doing deliveries for Snowcap. This local nonprofit has experienced an all time high on demand, and the food security of many of our residents depends on helping them accomplish their mission. We're also actively working to partner with Meals on Wheels to assist with deliveries there as well. 
As an example of these critical partnerships, Snowcap called on Friday afternoon and asked if we could help them source two large shipping containers uh, to store extra food, given their overwhelming current demand. We reached out to our partners at the Port of Portland, who jumped to action immediately and sourced these containers, which are being placed today or tomorrow. Huge thanks to our partners at the Port for their expedient assistance. Your work will help ensure a safe supply of food for our most vulnerable residents. Thank you to the Port of Portland. That's all I have uh, for today. Again, please take a moment and read the information that the of the governor's stay-at-home order. Uh, there's a link to those materials and, and all of the efforts I mentioned today on the SETI's webpage at greshamoregon.gov slash COVID-19. Again, remember to stay healthy, take care of yourself, uh, understand that these are, are challenging times. Nobody wants to tell you to not have your kids play at the playground, et cetera, but we've got to do what we need to do to get through this. So please read the order. Please pay attention to it. Please follow it. And as always, I pray for your health and safety. God bless.